6.45 a.m. Right then, uh, hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, you know don't you, you know. Uh, straight into action then, I'm just get my comfort ball. Straight into action, no messing about. Tony Bellew, a.k.a. Anthony Bellew, a.k.a. the disappearing man. The man who wants to disappear, never to be seen again. He's now a WBC ambassador on the strength of two WBC wins over Macabo and Flores. God. Vacant belt as well. WBC ambassador. And he's pushing for... The cruiserweight and super cruiser light cruiser, whatever he's pushing for. I've seen the whatever's that they're coming out with, and they're, they're all saying it were Mr. Bean said it was sorry, something to do with Don Majeski's idea. Blah blah blah. Let me tell you this, let me just get I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I was the original one that pushed for it. Me, I've been pushing for it for five years, and I brought it up over dinner with Don Majeski. And Mick Hennessy and Denny Sobson and everybody agreed. But we also said that the WBC will milk it to death. Because if they put another two weight divisions in, you're going to have a champion, an interim champion, a diamond champion, a, 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 a silver champion, a silver international champion. That's five. You're going to have. You're going to put five belts straight away. In two weight divisions, that's ten belts. That's ten sanctioning fees. So, at a time where we're looking at safety is paramount, which we should always be looking at in the sport of boxing, the, the, the sanctioning bodies are going to milk it. If the WBC do it, which they did years ago, if you remember, Sugar Ray Leonard, they say he's a five-weight world champion, but one of them title fights against Donny Lalonde, didn't they throw a super middleweight title in and then a light heavyweight title in at the same time? I mean... These people, they make it up as they go along, don't they? That's why they call them wee crooks. But it's known as the best belt. But the conflict of interest with Bellew being involved is this. Look, everybody knows Tony Bellew is trying to get in with WBC and work a position. Now, he'll have been told to do that by Sir, Sir Eddie Hearn. Because Eddie Hearn's going to need an ally with WBC because he can control the WBA... He can have a bit of power with IBF. He can't with WBO. But the WBC has always rankled Eddie Hearn. And it all goes back to his dad, you know. With snooker. His dad wanted to take over snooker. But the WBPSA, Rex Williams and all them old boys on it. They wouldn't have it, would they? But they're all old and decrepit now, aren't they? So eventually the Hearns, the Hearns got their way. They tried it with football. And when we were late in Orient, they tried to take government on West Ham and that didn't work the power people aren't they they're, they're just power freaks they did it with darts they couldn't budge them so they set their own up they couldn't they can't get in with WBC so what they do they send an ally in now this is an olive branch for them to get in there Bellew gets his feet under the table Charlie Giles drops dead or whatever by heart attack or god knows what else I mean with all that gin and whiskey and free free gratis that he's had off at board, it's only a matter of time before he's six foot under, isn't it, Charlie? He looks like death warmed up for starters, doesn't he? Bellew slips in there and he's, he's Hearn's man then with WBC and it's total domination, so you've got to give credit to Eddie Hearn. I give you credit, evening Eddie, or good morning Eddie. But it's not going to be good for the sport, is it, if you've got Bellew as a Sky commentator, bias. Can you imagine him commentating on a WBC fight? We are matching on fighter. Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you and all this kind of thing influences judges and communities, boxing fans, sorry, uh, sponsors. This is where boxing's rotten to the core. You got Eddie Hearn's bum chum trying to get in with WBC. It's all to court favours, that's how it works. Alright Tony, good morning, how are you doing? Oh, is it Anthony now? Have you not disappeared yet? So, I just think that it's... I don't think it's good for the sport, me. Personally, yes. 
I've been a big advocate for saying that from £175 to £200, a £25 jump, but yet we are in lower weight divisions, they're jumping up, was it £4 in between weights, three and £4, £6 or £7, whatever, £8. £25 a big jump. I'd like to see light heavyweight 175 stay. I'd like to see the old cruiserweight weight come back at 190. Or I'd just like to see if they keep it at £200 cruiserweight, why can't we have a light cruiser? Why can't we have a light cruiserweight at 189 or something? Do you know what I mean? Or something like that. Something between 175 and 200. 187 and then a cruiser at 200, then a super cruiser at 210 and then anything above 15 stone we can go at heavyweight, so, uh, we can just go at heavyweight can't we I don't want this to be a super heavyweight because that's the blue ribbon division I always want it to be called heavyweight but it needs uh, something drawing up because if the WBC do it and they start getting sanctioning fees the others will follow because they are sheep and it's a money driven sport so then we're going to move to 19 weight divisions and some of these people have got 7 and 8 belts in one division so 19 times 8 what's that well 10 8 and 80 9 8 72 we're going to have 152 champions but if you go back in the day we just had 7 weights and 7 champions so how's it got from 7 weights and 7 champions to 152 How's that happen? I'll tell you how it happens. Greed, because greed reaches into the core of people. It reaches into the core of people and that's the problem with boxing. It's rotten to the core. But when we get it right, it's fantastic, isn't it? But it'd be interesting to see how they do it. But this is why I want somebody like Donald Trump or somebody to just come and knock it all down and build it all again. Because fighters are not happening. I mean, what fights are not happening? What sport? What other sport would we put up with if, for example, if Judd Trump and uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, the top two snooker players in the world, decided that they weren't going to play each other in world championship? Yeah, we're not going to play each other. Barry Earn would be doing cartwheels, wouldn't he? He'd be doing cartwheels. So we've we've now got Fury and Joshua. They're not fighting each other. To be honest with you, I don't think pair of them want it. Tyson can scream blue murder all he wants, but he knows that if Joshua puts it on him and says, you know what, I'm sacking Eddie and we're going to fight, then the game turns, then they start all hiding behind people, don't they? It's a bit like this on-off on with Mickey Theo and John Fury, isn't it? Is it on, is it off? It's just, they're just playing the game, aren't they? Playing all of us, making themselves famous. A pair of them. A bit like Tyson and Joshua. If a man wants to fight another man, he goes and knocks on his door, doesn't he? Or he goes and says, look, I'm at the bottom of your street. I'm not going to knock on your door. Your family's there. Come to the bottom of the street and let's get at it. That's what you do. You don't go back and forward, do you, in daft videos, do you? Do you know what I mean? If you want to fight, get at it. But it is what it is, isn't it? Or it is what it isn't. We're being misled. But let's hope if the WBC do this that they can do it correctly. But... I'm very sceptical about it and I just think that there's a bit more to it. I think that they'll milk it with all these belts and sanctioning fees and but they'll they'll sell it as would be it's safety's paramount. Well if safety's paramount, why have why has this been going on since the mid eighties? Since cruiserweight started, we we went from light heavyweight to 190, 175 to 190. Then they changed it to £200. Well, why weren't they doing it then? Why wasn't the safety paramount then? Because there's a lot of money in the sport now and they all want to make more money. That's all it is. It's about money and power. And like I said, if Eddie Hearn can slip Bellew in there, he's got a commentator commentating and then he's got a guy there influencing people on, on board and, and things like that at WBC. So... It is what it is, isn't it? Alright, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing, alright? Thank you for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment and sharing the videos as well. I've noticed that all oh, my numbers are going up now all of a sudden, so thank you very much to all them people that are doing that. It means a lot. Bump, bump, bump. So, 
All right, best email at week that you send me in, porkycorner at mail.com. It's not Porky's Corner, because I've spelt it wrong when I said channel up. It's porkycorner at mail.com. The best email idea for a video, right? You get a free Porky Muggy post, all right? So still got some left here, okay? So, all you hardcores out there who want your hardcore stripes, Send me an idea in for a video, and uh, if it's a good one, and I put it out there, you'll get a free Porky mug. All right. So I think that's about it. So don't have nightmares.